party in first place Raise your glass, let's celebrate Old lane in your own race Why you got such a sad face? Not up to me, you chose your fate It's a long way going down All I can do is say congratulations All you niggas do is slay your hate But how can you hate when you can't relate? I ain't got time, I got moves to make Cross the finish, not shake and bake I don't know what to do with my hands But if this money, this money and dance Oh, oh, damn She's like, give me one more chance All I do is give her cash She get the cash, she drop it so fast She on the pole, she doing her dance I'm like, mommy, come give me that stance I'm like, bro Ladies and oh, gentlemen, what's welcome up? What, what's up, what's up, what's up <laughs> Make it happen. Bring us in, BD. Let's go. What's Welcome, up? Welcome. I'm Jason Zoll. Uh, and this is another episode of Who Got Game, where we go back into time and open up card packs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Toss it over to BD. And Yo. I toss it to BD. <laughs> Yo, I'm BD. I'm just ordering some fucking food right now. Who wants some lunch right some now? What you, what you ordering, BD? I'm not, yeah, what no, you I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that, Brian. All, All right, right. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. For real, what's up? Welcome, everybody, to Who Got Game. I'm Jason Zone Fisher. This is Baron Davis, and we got some special guests in the house. You never know who's going to come through. But today, we have, from our fantasy league, this man is 16-1 and one and is facing off in the championship against Moi. We will get into that soon. Brian Postel, music executive extraordinaire, fantasy professional fantasy basketball fantasy player. Guru. What, is his, yeah, what so. is his name in the fantasy on Sleeper? Shout out to Sleeper. Um, America's Most together. Wanted from our Celebrity Fantasy Basketball yeah. League, powered by the Sleeper app. America's Most Wanted. Thank you very much. This man has been running through squads all year, but but so have I. I know you've been a little intimidated. You know, I'm coming Not up. Not really, so, but uh, I understand. Well, we'll see. We'll get into that. <laughs> and we are joined by one of our favorite guests, a West Coast rap legend. You know him from the, uh, the uh, No Ceilings podcast, Ooh. Glasses Malone. Glasses, Glasses. thank you Glasses. for being here. The Glasses house. is a yeah. LA sports aficionado, a rap underground legend, overground legend. If you don't know LA, you ain't listen to No Glasses music. I just want to just basically set the landscape. And my boy BP, he is a basketball uh, connoisseur. He absorbs the game. This dude is the first person I've ever seen do a whole fantasy league on 2K, <laughs> and they simulated the games. Wow. While it was that sounds wow. Like it was the most boringest shit I've ever seen in my life, dog. Right. Just watching <laughs> it's got a two, lot of <laughs> two simulated games, uh, NBA 2K, and then they pausing the game, calling timeouts and Making shit. Making subs, Man, all that. that shit lasted Sorry. like six hours, dude. <laughs> What's funny a... is, I think you don't appreciate announcing. You don't realize how much announcing is yeah. a part of why you enjoy basketball. No, for sure. Mm-hmm. Professional at the highest level. No, for sure. Because you'll yeah. watch some, like, I've seen people simulate a 2K game, and that shit is horrible. It's terrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, well, you've been Shout getting Shout out your... to 2K, my boy, Ronnie 2K. Ronnie 2K, what's with, up? He's going to come be a guest on our show soon in the future. Ta- hey, we'll pump you up if you throw us some sponsorship. We could... We should have like a 2K game playing in the background or something. Really I think so. Right I think we'll make that happen now. soon uh, enough for sure. Uh, BD, let's catch up with you first. You're always working on a million different things. I mean, from you were on the talk earlier today promoting your upcoming film, Dominoes, this weekend, the event you had with UNEST and Point Gods launched this past week. Tell us about some of the stuff you've been working on. Yeah, man, I've been excited. Uh, I've been working a lot, uh, not sleeping enough. Uh, shout out to Can, because uh, when I do want to go to sleep, you know, I do drink me a uh, drink can. That's at drink can, uh, TH uh, infused cannabis drink. <laughs> uh, you know, that was my cheap plug for the day. For the day? I mean, for, you know, I got more. Yeah, uh, for, the, for the opening. But, nah, but, but big shout out to uh, you, Ness. We, we, we were able to give away uh, $15,000. And, you know, uh, and not in like prize money, mm. but it was going towards a UNES account. So it was about financial literacy, teaching people to save, how to gift into a fund, how to save for your kids' college. So we had an event here with, uh, you know, Jordan Sparks, uh, Boris Kojo went on live and announced the winners, uh, Pooh Jetter, uh, Akbar from, uh, um, uh, uh, American Ninja mm-hmm. Warrior, 
my dog. So it was a bunch of us kind of came together, um, you know, and said like, yo, we want to champion financial literacy together. And so UNES is a platform that we're all, you know, a uh, part of now and pushing it. And so it was really like an opportunity for us to launch and we'll be doing this three or four more times uh, in the year. That's great. And then uh, I would say I'm most excited. I got these new shoes, though. These are cool. <laughs> well, man. that's what I'm excited about that, too. It's yeah. kind of cool. The uh, slip-ons. Nice. But my, my Point God podcast, I, you yeah. know, uh, I finally was able to, uh, you know, get out, you know, finesse a little bit out of my deal that you got me locked up under. You know what I mean? He, like... <laughs> He like Jerry Heller to Easy E, oh, you know what I mean? Fuck. Nah, I'm just fucking around. I don't even uh, know what you're talking about right now. Kind of but, like yeah. hey. okay. well, Point God Podcast, yeah. you know, it, it launched, uh, you know, I'm excited about this yeah. because, you know, it just keeps getting better and better and better in the conversations. And my conversations as a host, it's my first time kind of doing a podcast by myself. So I'm still trying to figure out, you know, like, format but not format and just you know it, i can talk to these dudes for three hours me yeah. and nick van x will talk for an hour and a half ross strictly had an hour we wind up talking for an hour 15 we both like oh shit we gotta go you know what i mean so you know shout out to iheart shout out to slick for uh you know helping me come up with this podcast and you know more to come if you could have any guest who would you want to have? I know you already have. You premiered with uh, Darren Williams. Uh, we got some great ones in the pipeline coming through, like Isaiah Thomas. Uh, everyone can look forward to. But if you could have any guest, who's your dream guest for Point Guys? I mean, it's so many, man. You know, you I know. I'm trying you to can get say, you to be you, not political. You I can want, say I want somebody. One name, you, know? you can say somebody like Steph Curry. Mm. And then you can say somebody like Walt Frazier or Earl of Pearl. Mm -hmm. Walt Frazier with you know the defense I mean? that doesn't get credit. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah. Boy. and so for me, it's like, and everybody in between. I already interviewed one of my fa my favorite point guard of Which all is time, who? Isaiah Thomas. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then I, I have yet to interview Magic, but I'm like, I'm hoping That's that can guy. be like, That's you, know, okay. that, you know, you know, yeah. So, you know, but it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because this is a this is a chance you get to like me and Nick Van Exel was talking about the game uh where I had to square square off against him and uh Damon Stoudemire. You know, it was that match of me and David Wesley, him and Damon Stoudemire. Mm -hmm. And Stoudemire come out and get twenty five in like the first quarter, bro. And Nick going, Man, I'm cool, I ain't gonna do nothing, man. Don't you be the I you know, I'm just they both said that to me at the beginning of the game. Yeah, he yeah. come out and get 25. I go to go check him. He got 25, so he can't be checked. You feel what I'm saying? So he over there embarrassing me. Then Nick catch fire. So they basically, I'm going back and forth, get my ass lit up. <laughs> bow, bow. Do, 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 do. Oh, man, it was anything, anything you can imagine, dog. That shit was going in. Stoudemire had like 53. Oh, my goodness. Nick, Nick Van Exel had like 30-something, dog. On the <laughs> point guard. Wow. <laughs> hey, bro. And so we got a chance to talk about that. And, That's you know, great. It, it, it's been great, man. The podcast is great. Everyone should go check it out. It's available anywhere you get your podcast through iHeart, Point God. The premiere episode was awesome. I mean, just hearing you guys tell these stories that we wouldn't get. Yeah. Just to be a fly on the wall for those conversations is great. It's, it's like, nothing like a podcast that, mm -hmm. that has real players that played the game on it mm -hmm. for sure so because they give the real stories like you just said exactly that the fans want to hear yeah we want those stories i yeah. don't want to hear from somebody that never played right because they don't know what it takes when they i know that's hard why work. i'm gonna get out of here right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you good man because you know how to like you know how to draw that out you know what yeah, i mean yeah, and you smart right. to partner with players mm -hmm. exactly you know what i mean exactly. and they're like you know, just like do it as media you know what i'm saying and yeah, like exactly. look at you man you up right. here with some with some with a with some lokes, like, you know hey, what I mean. Man, you some east side, some east of the one side. Side. I'm holding it down. I'm holding That's it down right. for Cleveland yeah. right here. Two one six. Like you know when your it's car Cleveland. got hit. You know yeah. when your car got oh, hit. I remember that. If you, yeah. you would have tapped in, if you would have tapped in with the east side, we would have found out who hit it. Oh, I got the what license plate. We well, got the license oh, plate. It's a blue Nissan. to the cookout. Yeah, I got a crew now. We're going to find me, but that's okay. Yeah, I got a squad. Blue Nissan. We're coming for you. All right. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of coming for you, I'm coming for you this week. So we've had a fantasy basketball league powered by the Sleeper app running all season long. We did a draft a week before the season. BD, our commissioner, Black Trey, uh, a bunch of different fun people, personalities, Shout out to Sleeper. Shout out to Sleeper. Big shout out to Sleeper. It's a if really it wasn't fun for Sleeper, we would yeah. not have this podcast. Mm. Right. Download oh. the Sleeper app. Yeah. Right? The shit brings you and your friends together. Your girl, your family, anybody can play chat, convo, all that shit. All right, that that is right. Love you, sleep. It's been great. I mean, for someone who's new to fantasy sports, or someone like me who's been doing it for a long time. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I've been doing it for a long time. But yeah, don't worry. (laughs) You think it's a a coincidence? I'm in the finals? No, I know what I'm doing. I know how to scout some players. That's right. (laughs) Scout like Jerry Sloan. (laughs) Jerry Sloan. I am recruited. Let's go. So we drafted the best squads. We made some good waiver wire pickups. I beat Patty last week in the semifinals. Patty, tough battle. Patty, Uh you beat Patty. Pabby. Oh, Pabby. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Pabby. Hey, Pabby. Pabby. Ha, 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 ha. Pabby. Yeah, Pabby uh, is going to be joining us wait, next who was, week. Who was I rooting for last bet. week? It was you or Pabby? Uh, you tell me who you're rooting for. You want to roll said, with the I, winners or you want to be on Team Pabby? Play, and you can do, do some push-ups on his behalf. On, I don't uh, know. On my pick from last week because I think I, I did go. I did pick your squad. I think you did pick my squad. That's right. Pabby, okay. congrats on a great season. But sorry. Good job, Pabby. Yeah, we'll see you next week when we're doing. He's going to be paying off his sideways. He's got to do some howls. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. He got a hundred. He got a hundred dog howls. A hundred dog howls <laughs> in public, and he's got to do some push-ups. And he's buying me lunch. I'm looking forward to that too. Yeah, I know. Hey, bro, we're gonna be at a dinner. He's gonna be like. Pabby gonna be talking you know, in front of investors, and, and Jason gonna be like, "Yo, let me get one of them." He just got a. <laughs> I can't wait for that. All right, hundred of them, a hundred. Well, on call, and <laughs> like push up, like how we do push up. Yeah, how we do. That's push-up. pretty good. I'm not start doing so, that. Yeah. but <laughs> on the other side, we gotta figure out what this way we're going to. We're going to because on the other side, we've got. The team to beat all season long, Brian's team, America's Most Wanted, they are 16 and 1. Let's take a look at his squad right there. Luka Doncic, the Don, has been holding you down. And Julius Randle, probably the pick of the draft. This guy you got you late in the draft, and he's been crushing it for you. And Talk then, us through your team. Who's been your keys? Um, my, my, my key draft pick, yeah. which you mentioned, is Julius Randle. Big like the obvious pick was Luka. Yep. But the key pick was 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 Julius and my solid core player has been Brandon Ingram, I would say. Mm-hmm. Now, Valen the, the play, too. Hold up. Oh, sorry. This is this is this is where I'm going to get to. The player that I got laughed at during the draft by the yeah. gentleman that just spoke up. Oh. Laughed when I draft Jonas Valanciunas. He was like, "No, I did not, because oh. I drafted him in my other league." <laughs> oh, we might have to roll the clip. We might have we to might roll, roll the roll clip. Roll. We might have to rewind yeah, the clip. Trying, yeah. I probably was trying to talk you out of it. You, you so was doing a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. was doing yeah. a lot of that. Easy thing to do. Real yeah. easy thing, right? Real. I respect that. So you know, I was very focused during my draft. I took my time. I seen it what the competition was doing, and I came up with a strategy. And I think I put together a real great core of players that, that, that got me to where I needed to be. During the middle of the season, I was like, oh, damn, this shit is too easy. Like, it's a breeze. <laughs> like, I was undefeated. I was yeah. undefeated for a long time. Who and nobody beat you? Was, who did beat you? You lost one week this whole season. Yeah, I forgot who beat me, and he, they that shouldn't have won. I think I had yeah. injuries. I think I had injuries that or something. Was oh, COVID. You know, during COVID, all that. It that happens. COVID. Yeah, right. I, I mean, I, I would have to say to go 16-1 and one during COVID and fantasy – means that you are highly engaged in your lineup. And then for me, like looking at De'Aaron Fox and Kobe White, mm-hmm. right, when you look at, you know, those two young guards in the, in the type of season that they've been having, you know what I mean, especially coming down the stretch with De'Aaron Fox, it's like, man, I would say he would be the biggest surprise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now he, he's hurt, so – I need to know if he's going to be playing during this championship run that I'm on because yeah. that's very key. That's yeah. if he doesn't if he doesn't play, that could hinder my squad a little bit. But you know, I got reserves. Yeah, I got some guys to step up. Okay, you know when when the sun goes down. You do. You got a deep yeah. bench too. You got a you got a good bench. You got Baisley's been playing really well. Kem Birch, you just oh that's up. that's the pick where Baron mentioned uh, that I was following the trend. Was who like Baisley? Baisley from OKC? Right? Well, I mean, he yeah, hasn't yeah. been. Uh, you know, at this level he was, all he was, season. He was, he was but up and down. He was now up and he's down. getting he some minutes and, and he's playing real yeah. well. 
Uh, we are going to have to make a side wager, though, because you are facing me in the finals. Now, I don't have as good of a record of you, but I have come to play every single week. So, I don't know. I don't know if you have any ideas on a little side I wager. Definitely I'm do. confident. Even if, though you're 16-1. If, if I win, yeah. you got to open a can of tomato sauce and drink it straight. Hey, yeah, I'm half Italian. That's like breakfast. That's what that's <laughs> that's what that's what that's what I'm saying, man. Like, Paisan. Okay, come on. Wait, okay, give me that back. tomato sauce. Let's go, man. Take, it, take, it, take it to the head. Come on, you're talking to my language. All right, fine, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's what you, you want. Sh- Drink you some you should bet 200 bunny hops. Two- on a bike? <laughs> No, bunny hops. Oh, literally like, bunny like hops. Got, like you oh, got, wow. on call. <laughs> on call? Be sure, like, hey, BP, that. let me get it by. I, you got to hop like a bunny by. So, so on y'all best, can you call and FaceTime? Yeah, no, absolutely. we're going to record this. Let me get this a bunny is hop. video for sure. But you want bunny <laughs> hops? You want 100 bunny hops and drink a can of tomato sauce? I'm definitely going to have to get in on this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, right. I'm confident. 100, I'm bunny, 100 bunny hops. And the can of tomato sauce. That's the weirdest bet I've ever and done And you in get my the life. sleeper. Uh, you do You do get uh, a sleeper NFT. Mm-hmm. Uh, a slick sleeper collaboration NFT. Okay. And you do get a championship belt. That's right. Championship belt. Yeah. Yep. So that's what, uh, you know, Slick and Sleeper came up with, was we, we are going to award a championship belt to the winner. So, okay. Um, Bring it on. Because okay. I thought I was going to win. I had all these, like, perks and shit. Yeah. He thought <laughs> it was going to be Built up. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man, I'm going to have a nice trophy bro. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Shit. All that right, belt nice. going to look nice at the crib. That's glasses, nice. what's up, man? Man, I'm just, I never played fantasy. No? I'm sure it's interesting. Yeah. All right, Glasses, here's where I need your input. Let's, you saw, you saw I need the to see number was, one squad. It's waiting on the number two. So now team. let's see, let's see my squad, all right? We're going to take a look at my squad. Here we go. I got Fred Van Vliet, who's been on and off, you know, hurt or not. Also another guy I hope plays, but Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum, and the MVP, Nikola Jokic, who was my first pick. I think I picked 11th overall. What do you mean the MVP? Of the season this year, he will win the award, is what I mean. And we'll get into that. Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony. You you wanted Cole Anthony, and now he's getting minutes. Jared Allen, Draymond, who is not a point god. Uh, We debated last week. Oh, my God. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold. Yeah. <laughs> All right, glasses, glasses. You got nice glasses. Squad. We I, had thank a, you. Hey, he Tame got him. a squad. Tate. Yep. Finish, finish your fantasy shit because we are. We have some professional. You finish your fantasy debaters. shit. Debaters. Well, the show is. <laughs> the show is about the fantasy. The show is about the. Who got game? I got game. All right. So that that is that is my squad. But the way that the sleeper app is set up is really unique to fantasy sports. Normally, like you draft your squad, you roll with them for the season, you see how they do in a week. Because this year is so difficult, you don't know who's going to miss a game with an injury or COVID. You got to pick one game per week that you want to roll with your players. That you want to rock with them and get their stats for just one game. So if we could so take a, a look at my easier. squad. Glasses, I want your advice here. Nikola Jokic, I can pick his stats for one game. He plays the Lakers, the Knicks, the Jazz, and Brooklyn. Now, I, I mm. would say probably not Utah because I don't want Gobert on him. But what do you think? Well, what is the best matchup for Nikola Jokic mm. this week out the of Nets. those four teams that I should go with? The Nets. The who? The Knicks? The Nets. They play I don't them. think they play the Oh, they, they do. The, the last Nets. game. The last they game. They, they play the defense. Nets, right? Yeah. They don't yeah, play the Nets. Why, why, why you say that? The Nets don't play defense. They don't play defense, yeah. So you roll with the Nets. Nor do, nor do yeah. they have a really good big to defend, so. Yep, right, Expect right. Him to really so that's your last game So that's my week. last game. It's okay, so that's why I got to strategize for that. All right, Glasses, yeah. what about Jason Tatum? Yeah. Coming off that 60 piece. He's going against Orlando, Chicago, or Miami. Is there a matchup? Maybe a guy who's going to guard him? Name the teams again. I Orlando? Mean, you getting this, you getting this help. Chicago. We're going to go back to my team and let Glasses. Help yeah, me. well, I'm hey, you're 16 to one. I need some help. Orlando, yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Orlando, Chicago, and who? Orlando, Chicago, on the board right there. and uh, Miami. Right. The oh, Heat. that's oh, that's pretty see, tough. See those uh, teams. Oh, underneath? so the teams under is who you're playing. That's who yeah. I'm playing this week, and I get to pick one game. Jason Tatum. I definitely would stay away from Miami. Well, yeah, I don't want Jimmy Butler uh, matching up on him. It's they Orlando, got good bro. What's Orlando's funny is it might be good. it might Chicago be Chicago too. Chicago. Yeah. It might be Chicago. Right? I, I mean, who, Thad Young, is that who's going to guard him? I yeah, mean, I, I, Chicago seems like Orlando is scary because they're young and they athletic and they just might show up that day. Chicago, mm-hmm. I this, like Chicago. This side of your team, to me, is a little suspect. The right, the, the yeah, Draymond, a, Jared yeah, Allen side. side. What's wrong with that side? That's yeah. a good side. Though. That's a good side. Draymond, they're Jared not, Allen. They're not going to put up the numbers you need. 
Uh, well, we'll see. Cole Anthony. I think Cole Anthony, I so, would take him again. So real fast, yeah. I don't yeah. want to throw it yeah, I don't yeah. want to throw it away. So yeah. is, is uh, fantasy all offense? No. It's everything. It's you get points it's for rebounds. blocks, rebounds, yeah, like assists, Like Gobert steals. is killer. Like yeah. all your defensive players, like, like they defensive stats, they add up. So the mm-hmm. rebound and the steals, the blocks. A block you know can be mean? worth more than, than a bucket. That's all I'm talking about. And field goal for like like all that value that me. Yeah. I like that. A block is worth A block is worth three. A block, a block is like worth that. three. Yeah, exactly. Like that. So yeah, like that's that. why I like Robert Williams, Jared Allen, that's even a really good team. Noel that's a, that's a really good team. What I like about this team specifically, um, just looking at it, is you can play offense or defense with that team. But you, right. the, but you the can be- play small ball. You can take Jokic out, bring Draymond in. and, and No, you just play for the week. Great. So, they, yeah. uh, so basically, you get like eight players, right? And then you pick them for one game of the week, and you add up Their all stats. these stats. So I get I get Terry Rozier's stats against. So Draymond Orlando. does pretty good, then, right? Yeah, Draymond, Draymond does. Great. Great. And, and, that, and that leads to our conversation. <laughs> now you we now can, that we get to the real. Now we can Draymond. get to the real yeah. conversation. So I love Draymond Green. He mm-hmm. is a fantasy kind of filler. He you is. know what I mean? He, kind he's of what you want for fantasy. He's what you want for a teammate. He's what you want to build in the organization. Mm. He is, you know what I mean? He is he is that type of guy yep. who will have a long, illustrious Hall of Fame career. He also causes teams a lot of problems. He too. He's a is not. <laughs> he's a headache. I repeat, the one thing he is not, and I will defend it to the death of me, is what? Is he is not a point guard. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> is that a question? Well, last what, week what, I was talking about. He him. said What's Draymond Green was more of a point guard than Steph Curry. You know, That's last week, last week I was talking about how yes, many was assists. Drink. I think he was drinking. How many assists? He said. He said. He said, he said the ball. He said the ball handling. The passing. I was drinking. I was like, last dude, week. I was. I, who, I was. I had some margaritas. Oh yeah, he was drinking. Say, thank you, Hall of Fame, for the margaritas. Hey, I'm don't get me wrong. He's a yeah. he dishes the rock. He he's, can he's dish a, the rock. He's Man. a fantastic playmaker. Absolutely. Playmaker. Absolutely. Fan, that's that's but, the point. But sometimes I think point guards and playmakers get confused. That's what mm-hmm. I told him. Like, you you could be mm-hmm. a fantastic playmaker. That don't mean you're a point. Uh, Jokic is a fantastic playmaker, but he's not a point guard. Sure. I, I said Draymond Gray was a great distributor. An exceptionally skilled passer and, and basketball especially for player. Yeah, especially for basketball his player. Yep. Playmaker is different. Yeah. Got That's it. somebody who can get theirs and get get stuff. Chris Paul, playmaker. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like um, Ish Smith is a playmaker. Sure. You dig what I'm saying? People sleep on. You're but right. he's, a he's a playmaker. You know what I mean? Right. Like he right, he dude. knows how to make plays. Den- I'm, I'm Dennis right. Rodman is a yep. playmaker. He's yep. a fantastic passer. Who, but Rodman? he's a playmaker. Yeah, Rodman, for sure. Right? So you got people who yeah, can yeah. Uh, LeBron you know, James you, is you, a playmaker. And, yeah, LeBron James Absolutely. is a playmaker. playmaker. Finally, he finds you know the I mean? open guy. Yeah. He finds the open guy. No doubt. And it's not about just finding the open the yeah, open you guy. Can create it's making open. the play. Yeah, you can create Some it. people can play in a system and get stats. Other people can make things happen. You know what I mean? If that shit breaks down. Well, mm-hmm. to, to Draymond, and that's, go ahead. I want to say this to Draymond Green's credit, because he's always in a mismatch because of his ability to dribble the ball. He might be an underrated playmaker because he's he is a, go, yes, he is he an, go around, but he's yes. not a point guard. Though. Yes, he's not a point guard. No, he's not a point guard. He's an underrated. He's an underrated. And I he's believe underrated. in order to he's be underrated. a point guard, you gotta be you got a different. You gotta be a playmaker. You gotta be a playmaker. Would you know what I mean? Draymond he is. be who he is in another system. Though. Yes. If yeah, Draymond yeah. was on OKC, would he yes, still be Draymond? Absolutely. He'd I think be, that's he all he knows. Would he he'd, be, yeah. he'd be just as valuable. His, his IQ it's, is, just, it's just the players around his him. IQ mm-hmm. is yes. the most underrated IQ I think I've ever seen. For you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So no matter where you put Draymond, yeah. he's going to elevate their level. He's of a play. basketball. Mm. It's just. I think he would be good in New York. It's just who you put mm-hmm. around Draymond. Mm-hmm. Personality. Mm-hmm. I think you know what I mean? He would be crazy in New York. He'd be he great would. for he'd be he great for well any with that team. He that would be I great for any team, team in the yeah. league. Yeah. Why? It goes back to Glass's point. Yeah. He's defensive minded. He is an exceptional 
basketball thinker. He is an underrated playmaker. He is an incredible facilitator. And, he, and he's That's a dog, what I say. too, man. He's a he's dog. A dog. He's like, he cares. You know what I mean? And he's an, under, yeah, yeah, he's an he underrated He's an underrated score. He, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So when people say leader, he's the leader of right. the team. Right. But you got to have you gotta have Steph a leader. and Clay and at, all at, the at, other at, pieces at, around at, him. Sure. At championship levels, yes. you know what I mean? It's different. But that's every last NBA player not named Akeem Olajuwon. Right. Would you, would you say that Draymond is similar to what Rondo is? He's teams. different. Way different. Yeah. He's different. He's different mm. because... They, do they bring the same elements I think. I think personality-wise, yes. Yeah. It, it is. I it can is, see the... Comp- the comp- but I, I feel like Draymond is a is more valuable because he's bigger. I agree. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. He's, still he's bigger and he can do... And he pretty still much... Still he's he's a bigger version of Rondo. Yeah. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, yeah. And, Mm. Rondo like is a, a smaller lot. version of Draymond gotcha. than is, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Rondo's a point guard. Rondo yeah, well, is Rondo definitely, is definitely yeah. a fucking a point, point guard. guard. No, he is. Yes, but, he is. but you are comparing how they are very similar as well. No, yes, no, Rondo no, is no, a yeah, point yeah, guard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rondo, That's actually a great Rondo I is never a playmaker. About that. That's right. Rondo they is a very playmaker. Much, they're the same player, but size, size is different. That's right. All right. Well, hey, we've been talking fantasy real quick. Who are you guys rolling with? Who do you think? You saw both of our lineups. Who has the edge Let's in see the that fantasy one more time. championship? Let's see both lineups one more time. All right. So, yeah, again, it is America's Most Wanted versus Team Jay-Z Fish. 16-1 and one versus, I think I'm like, 13-3. and three. Here's my squad, anchored by Draymond, Jokic, Tatum, Bradley Beal, Fred Van Vliet, Jared Allen. Pretty good squad. And Brian's squad. Let's take a look real quick. America's this, most wanted. Here we go. Squad. Oh my God! Luca, That's, Fox, man. Ingram, Randall, and then and Jonas are, are are your big five right there. I don't know. What do you think, glasses? Okay, so the way fantasy works is it like bench players too? Yeah, yes. I mean it's going to be our best seven or eight. I promise you that game is should be really really close. Yeah, that game should be really because I like your defensive team. Right. Um, mm. you do have a quality playmaker and Joker. You know, yep. a size. I like your team, obviously, Julius Randle. Mm-hmm. Luka is a really dope playmaker. Um, yeah, I really kind of have mirror ideas of teams. Yeah, at different positions, though. At yeah, different yeah, yeah. positions. Yeah. So it's going to really come down in a real basketball game, right? Um, how many, I, I wish I could see the other team again, but how many mismatches can Luka create is going to determine if you win. So, yeah. so who when Luka's he, when playing? He, so can you show me that, that team one more time? Uh, uh, so you can see who Luca plays. Luca's playing week. against the Heat, the Nets, the Cavs twice. Oh, no, no, go you back, keep go back, go, go back. back. Yeah, there we go. go. He's Miami, playing. Miami, Brooklyn, and Cleveland, Cleveland two times. Whoo! Miami should make it interesting for a second. Brooklyn, they don't. No, really... I, I won't play him against Miami. You won't play him against Miami. No, I'm way. not playing him against. You'll Miami. either do Brooklyn or one of the Cavs. Games Brooklyn or one sure. of the Cavs games. He'll yeah, play. that's tough. Yeah, and if De'Aaron Fox plays, Luke he's gonna play a, against the last leg of OKC. So it's rooted in stats. Fantasy is rooted in it's stats. Only stats. It's how they perform tough. doesn't matter if they lose. Doesn't matter. It's just how statistically how they play. How many points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals, turnovers. Julius know. would probably be the stat wise going to be really scary against that. Who would line. you start Julius against? Every team down there. Well, you, you only pick one. I can only pick. You one. only pick one. You can, one team you're starting with. Who is LAX? Uh, that would be the Lakers, I believe. The Lakers or Clippers? Okay. I'd start him against the Lakers. LAX is the Revenge. Lakers. He hates the Heat. Well, he he's going to come. Points. He's going he's gonna to show up he to play big that game. game. Mm-hmm. He always LeBron plays the Lakers is, good. They rush LeBron back, so he won't be there. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Um, yeah. You don't really have another Ford. Anthony Davis is still hurt, no matter if nobody wants to admit it. And so. it's a big game. Some guys, he's you know, gonna and, show up. and against his former team. He's he's gonna, I, I look for those storylines. You know, you got to look too. for those storylines. He's going to play big. He, Taking he plays out my notebook. Guys. I, mean, I know 40. what I'm doing. I, it's no mistake we're in the finals. There's no he mistake. He can go 40, 15, and nine against that team. All right. Well, that was, that was a very long-winded yeah. way to not give an answer of who you're rolling with. He said it's going to be a close game. Oh, I mean, because I'm still learning about fantasy. No, no. Yeah, I know. 
BDT, nothing about me. <laughs> nothing about the LO is political. Yeah, I, don't well, even, I know. Well, you get because I'm takes. trying to learn how basketball works. I, like, oh, I don't well, know how fantasy. Okay, all right. Yeah, you all right, play. All right, yeah. Feel, so I'm feel. trying to see how it works. I'm okay. Like, as much knowledge as you have about the game, no glasses. You would like playing fantasy. Yeah. You would. Next season, you, next year, you're gonna get in our okay. league for sure. Okay. You would like this. So a I lot. see. Can I can I see the other team one more time? <laughs> time? Okay. Okay. Just so I can look and see stat wise. There we go. So that's. Brand, team. Brian's team is taking on Team Jay Z Fish. Like Luca with the stats. And this is my squad right here. Yeah, Fleet. B- Woo. Bill, Terry, Scary, Scary Terry. Terry's been playing. I don't well. know, man. It's going to be close. So, obviously, you favor. Yeah, because I've beaten him already once. He did meet me once this season, but you know, it's. it's you right just gotta get now, lucky. the way they're playing, is, is, Bill, is Bill hurt? Bill's uh, playing, right? He's going to play at least a game this week. Yeah, yeah he'll play. Yeah. He'll play a game. Sure. Yeah, you know what's funny? I'm 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 gonna go with the underdog team, only because just go. looking at it, Tatum, Jokic, and Bill is a, a scary and Draymond. Scary, scary. That's right. That's right. It's like, scary. That can carry a team. It's scary. If yeah. You, if you start the right players at the right time, I, that's what it's now, all about. A player that I have on about. my team that people don't really pay attention to is Tate. Tate is dope, yeah. And, yeah, and, no, you've been, and, and he could kind of just go off. You've done well off the waiver wire, yeah. picking up some good guys to add and start mm-hmm. them at the right time That's, for this sure. This is dope. I it is. It's a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Big thank you and big shout out again to the Sleeper app for making this league possible. We'll be crowning our champion next week. We've got seven days left. Starts mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Tip off of the first game. One of the two of us will be the champion. We're going to get the championship belt. That Sleeper NFT. And the other person is going to be drinking some tomato sauce. And Ooh. doing bunny hops. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for that to happen. We'll turn that into an NFT, too. Hey, Brian Postel, Mary Lewis Wanted, thank pleasure, you for rolling pleasure, through, pleasure. man. We really it's appreciate you being here. Good luck. Good luck this week. We will be talking next week 16 for sure. 16 and 1, you don't need too much luck. Not oh, at all. Okay. You, already, you, already, you, you, you told him 16 though. times Kelsey in a row. 16. That's it. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Kelsey Plum. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, now, I mean, we're going we to keep that on the line. Okay, no, all right. It, He's but. getting a new, new guest coming through on Point Guys, texting him right now. We can't keep up. We're going to have another guest coming through in a moment because that's what, how we roll here at Who Got Game. You never know who's going to pop in and pop out. We got some more guests to talk NBA. But first, guys, uh, before our next guest joins us in a second, there's only obviously one week left in the fantasy season, but we're down to seven, eight games left per team in the NBA season, and people are jockeying for position when it comes to the playoffs. The Lakers got AD back. They just got LeBron back, but he aggravated his ankle. And you heard LeBron's comments last night. He is pissed about this playing tournament. Because <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't say nothing about it last year. He didn't say nothing well, about it last Lakers year because the, the Lakers, Lakers were safe. Lakers. Now, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, exactly. LeBron was for it last year. It seemed like he loved it. But now that he, the Lakers are sliding, now that they are sliding down and could be in this playoff tournament, he wants someone to get fired who came up with that idea. Do you guys like the idea of this playing I tournament? I love it. Yeah. I love it because it shows a level of hunger. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm tweeting LeBron and saying, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm telling hey, LeBron. We need that. We yeah, need I that. love it. I, right, I love right, the right. NBA finds a way to make it competitive. You right. Know, you get like a playoff right before the playoffs. First, and it, it keeps other teams' hopes alive. I mean, what I love, I would die to have Golden State versus my team, in for the playing. Who's, your, who's team? your team? I'm a Laker. Obviously. Okay, all right, oh, all right. All right. But yeah, I would yeah. love for that for to be a the player, pressure. You wouldn't even get. It's like when when you you couldn't even get that. <laughs> that playoff. would be the championship. Shit. God damn. <laughs> Let us get that fade. Right I want the Warriors now. in. I, mean, I definitely want the Warriors in. Which, guy, which squad would you be most afraid to face in that play-in tournament? Go to if State. I'm a Laker, go to yeah, State. Go to State, State for sure. But, yeah. so, and so where are the Lakers at? Let's see the, let's see seven. the standards. Uh, we're seven. Yeah, all right. So well, seven got a play-in? Six, uh, yeah, seven, eight, nine, and ten are in the play-in. So you want to be top six. Otherwise, if you're seven or below, and so where how, the Lakers yeah, are right now, they would be in the play-in if it started today. So... So and then after the, I don't I don't get it. All right, so let me explain. The top six are set in each conference. In so where conference. Portland ended up, Miami ended up. Currently, they are in the playoffs. Seven, eight, nine, and ten will be in the play-in tournament. Is it? Is it? Depending on how close they are, was it wasn't it? No, like it's that? just it's standings cool. wise. That makes no sense. That. So that but, is great. But how it works it's is a, it's a playoff before the playoff. And they I have, know, dog. But if you if you if you are clearly four games ahead 
of the eighth seed. So here's how that'll right? work. Right? Like, how. you should automatically be in and not have to play. But here's how it'll work. The, <laughs> eighth seed, the eighth seed will have to defeat the seventh seed twice. The seventh seed, they beat them once they're in. So it is. It is so it's huge. like they do have an advantage. Because what happens is at the end of so the, the year. So the seventh seed is going to play the eighth seed. The ninth and the tenth seed are going to play. And then it, it, it is a it's little It's like confusing. a mini yeah, playoff. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. But is the seventh seed playing the tenth seed and the eighth and the ninth seed playing? Yeah, I think, I think one is playing for one seeding and the other one's playing for the eighth seeding. So you play for the seventh seeding and I would imagine you play for the eighth seeding. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. And but, the, the lower seed has to win twice. Okay, so say the, let's say the eighth seed beats the seventh seed twice. twice. Then they get the But seventh the seventh seed. seed won a game. Are they the eighth seed now? No, if they win a game, the eighth seed is automatically eliminated. All right, this, this is way this too many. This makes no sense. No, yes, this is does. way too much math for this show. Wow. Wow. Let's bring in our next guest right now. You never know who's going to come through. Point we got another God. L.A. basketball God. legend, another point guy. Point who God. Jenner is in the house. Jenner. Who? What's up, man? Hey, thank you for coming through. Hey, hey, hey. You know, y'all talking about the plan. But so that yeah, we what do you it, think? We, no, we, this is what we do in China. Okay. Mm, yeah. but so they well, already had it. Well, it's Brilliant. Already I knew we yeah. stole the so idea from somebody. You have to. You yeah. know, China, you know, you got to be able to I, follow I China. actually, usually at the end of the season, think about what happens, right? You play professionally. Y'all start lagging. Everybody comfortable in their position. No, I'm with all that. So yeah. what because happens Because it was is, a couple years when we was like, Close. Nine for y'all 10. Got hot. Oh, dog. And if we could have made a play in, we could have we, we, we got we yeah, Because y'all was together. already up. Right. I want the hotter teams going into the playoffs, the team with the momentum. Let's say if a player's hurt mm-hmm. all year, right, and he finally comes back, 20 games left in the season, they get their foot sure. in, and now they run it, but they're in ninth seed. Now that team has a chance. Let's say if a team has been good all year, right, and then their best talent goes down, and now they're struggling, but they limping into the playoffs yeah, to get eliminated you know in the first you round. Know ain't gonna be nothing you finna lose in the first round. Right. Yeah, that's right. over. Yeah. Let's get to it. For sure. I love it. But in China, 12 teams make it. So, like, you know, we, our thing was like, yo, let's just get to the 12 because that was an automatic bonus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But the first thing, but the first, it was like, maybe the first four teams uh, get a buy in, like, it's 5 to 12. Like, it's crazy. That's the playoffs before the playoffs. No, I like it, bro. I'm just Love trying it, to right? figure out if I'm the seventh seed. You have mm-hmm. to win one time. Time out. If I'm right. the seventh seed. Yes. And I've been balling all year, right? And I've been, <laughs> you know, playing above my pay grade and level of capacity. Yep. And I'm five games ahead of the eighth seed. Right. Right? That is doing me a disservice. Wow. For real. No. LeBron time is out, pissed. Out. LeBron's it is, pissed about bro. It. it is. Because, and I can understand why LeBron is pissed. Right. Because it's like, yo, I've been playing all year. Mm. I fell off. AD fell off. We've been consistent. We've been holding. And, and we're literally two games out of fifth or fourth. Right. Right? But we slid because of the three weeks we were all out. And now we coming back. And we still five games ahead of the uh, eighth spot. Eight. Man, we should be getting ready for the two seed because that's the matchup. Mm-hmm. Well, you I have know. to earn. I like that. I like the. Earn. I can see for the eighth seed for the fan is awesome. But now, I feel bad. For, be I feel bad for you, LeBron, and AD. Yeah, all sure. Your for players. the fans, it's great. For me, it's awesome. I agree. I Yes. From a fan perspective, more because basketball. You get to watch no, 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 I'm with it too. I'm pressure. with a fan now too. Yeah. We want the, no, you're not a fan. Pressure. Not a fan. No, you're forever in the game. That's like as a game, I'm just forever. Just uh, forever. Why, why, why can't I? <laughs> no, because you that's how you you judging from being on the court. No, I'm just looking at it from their perspective. I they only gotta win one I game. I do want to see a see a playoff. I'm just trying to figure out you win, you from, win. from the back. I'm just, you got to make it make sense. Okay, so, so right I need now. it all explained to me so I can be like, okay. It makes let's sense. say Golden State gets in that A spot. Yeah. You're telling me you don't want the mini playoffs of a of an AD and LeBron that's kind of hurt against Steph and Draymond? A mini playoff? That's better than a championship. That two games. And how many? Is? It's two games. So, so if the Lakers yeah. win one, it's over. Right. Golden State has to win both games. They have to beat them two games in a row. So if they beat them both, they go to seven. No, the Lakers is done. Nine and ten have to win two games. Seven, eight only got to win one. So it's seven versus nine and eight versus ten, or how's it? It it might be seven versus ten and eight versus nine. 
Why would I like? I gotta look that up. Yeah, like, yeah it's a lot. We gotta get, we gotta get definition. Nine and ten should be I'd be, so for con- eight no, I'd be so confused going into the playoffs uh, that I'd be yeah, like, yo, are we winning or losing? Right, 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 right. They got to be. Okay, so he said seven so and eight. Seven, eight. Here it is. Here seven it is. Eight. Here it is. So the play-in tournament is nine versus ten and seven versus eight. Yes, that's perfect. Yes. That's what he said. And then right, seven versus eight. But, the, AC, but listen to this: the loser of seven versus eight is out. Is not out. Then they play the winner of nine oh, versus yeah. ten. So that's the oh. third. So you have to play. You so got a lot, oh, a lot of chances. A lot of chances. Three chances, Bill. A lot of chances. You can't win out of three chances. Six games ahead of the eighth spot. Something is wrong because you can't win. You would have to go zero and three. Hey, bro, you wear me out. Zero and three. You wear me out. You only have to win one game in three games. Right, exactly. Time out. You tore up from one game, forty-eight minutes. As a fan. It's awesome. As a Laker fan. It's awesome. Hold on. Answer this question. (laughs) As a Laker fan, you are five games ahead, right? Your guys need the LeBron, AD, we need a good three or four days for them to like soak, get their body right. Mm -hmm. Now you got now you mean to tell me they have three games to play already trying to like give all that they got. For this final 16 game push, you only right? Win one. You only got to win one, AD. Yeah, but you play know, one, it's game. Good. one, one it's, game. It's, you only got to win one, bro. Right. From, if I'm the seven, yeah. like be, like Boom said, I need to be focusing on because this. y'all are I players. I don't see this. And so right. this is where it's awesome to be a fan right. and not have to think that way. Yeah. I want to see the best get in the playoffs. I don't want to see you st- right now. The Lakers are sliding. How bad the slide is, we won't know until that time. Well, and See, Schroeder, Schroeder's out now to the next how two weeks, bad, too. They, how they're sliding. That's crazy. Like, yeah. So you got LeBron that's still hurt, rushed back. Now he's pretty much pretty much, probably handicapped himself in his career moving forward at this point. Mm. Whether nobody wants to understand how basketball and the body works, right. he's put himself at a disadvantage probably. Where Anytime you come back early from an start, injury, bro, you are just – Compounded <laughs> and getting ready to set yourself up for, for that injury or the next injury. So right, take it from the person who played hurt his entire career. Yeah, Man. Well, what, what, what do I used to say? Like, mm-hmm. if I hurt something on my left side, it's gonna trigger you. You gonna compensate on be, your right. Right, right. It's, like it's tough. It's natural. BD, what was the? I most- have to compensate, dog. If people don't know this on some real shit, people yeah. know this. Yeah. There was never not like once I tore my ACL, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It was just like I rushed back to that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I when I rushed back, I rushed back to the league. So in the, in the, my first year as a rookie, I had a knee problem because I had floating cartilage in my knee, no surgery mm. or nothing. I just worked through it. Damn. And that shit came the next year. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. so like, you know, you you learn you your body starts compensating, never and compensating, you. and you can never like. <laughs> Get to eighty, really the 88 percent where you should feel, be. yeah, and then take the time to let your body heal to get to a hundred percent. BD, did you ever play at a hundred percent in your yeah. career? Never. I Man. believe that too. Yeah, he didn't. I yeah. watch boxing a lot, and that's kind of once people talk about the training is rigorous. That's yeah. what hurts yeah. you. Everybody yeah. said the training yeah. is so rigorous yeah, it's, in most professional sports. And you're trying to get back, and we're in a time where people don't really know how to train you for your injury. Sure. There are no mm-hmm. fucking rest days. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I came up in a culture where, like, you don't, like, if, if ain't nothing really bothering you, you don't even talk to the trainer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so you sitting there, you know, you sitting in the bed, you like, shit, man, I got a crook in my neck. You don't want to say nothing because, man, who want to be like, you in the locker room with some right. ice? Like, right. what's wrong with this fool? You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? Right. It's yeah. tough. It's a lot so, of ego. Problem. You know, like the training, I would say the training and the medic, the medicine and the medical team, they start investing more in that. Sure. Because they realize, like, shit, if we're going to put these dudes through all this shit, we got to figure out that the body is very important. And so now you look at the way that they built, the way that they train, the way that they rest. Like, mm. you know, like the way that NBA guys play now is how we, how I grew up playing in the summer. Now, one of the guys who's back right now, LaMelo Ball, he was the favorite to win Rookie of the Year, got hurt. People then the thought maybe he wouldn't win the award, but he's back. Is that something you, you feel maybe he name, shouldn't have rushed name, back? Name another rookie. 
Anthony Edwards. I mean, he is far. You know what I mean? It's far, bro. Mm -hmm. He is far. Them two is far. (laughs) Halliburton. Halliburton. Halliburton is far. Yeah, it's far. Yeah. Edwards. Killer. Right, right. Yeah. That that uh, that that little light skin boy bro. is cold. Man. But do you think Lamelo, yes. him coming yeah. back, yes. you know, was that uh, but, smart to come back? No, but or he's a, when, when you your point? when you when you young like that, I think your injuries, you just heal fast. Yeah. Right, right. I just he just healed. He yeah. healed fast and, and he's a scrub. Like he's yeah. fresh. It's good. Yeah, he fresh. Well, like that's his and that's probably right. like his first real injury. Yeah, he's too. right. Probably was like, hey, I'm back shooting. Yeah. This is a good segue to talk about some NBA awards with the season winding down. I mean, it sounds like LaMelo, is he all your pick? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, he already he just came back yeah. and got like more highlights. I, I mean, yeah, he is a highlight. And, and, machine. and I tell people, his watch him because his growth has been accelerated. Sure. Right. Being out during the season, yeah. Like, it's one thing to be hurt going into the summer and like you working to get your shit back, but it's another thing to be hurt during the season. Where you gotta sit there, you gotta stomach every loss. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. <laughs> you also gotta like be a part of every win, but walk in the locker room in a suit and don't feel like you really contributed anything. Mm-hmm. You feel serious, what I'm saying? Huh? And yeah. hell yeah, Mentally. dog, it's a it's a thing. Like if you take the injury and you sitting on the bench, like if you ultimately become a coach. Yep. So it's important to watch your favorite players when they get injured. Right. When LeBron James is injured, what is he doing? Coach, talking to the refs, talking to the players. I watch him right? coach too. Watch yeah, the mellow yeah. ball, bro. That's, He's that's, sitting there. Look at Clay Thompson. The Clippers. The, you know what I mean? What's funny is the few minutes Rondo has to play versus what he's able to instill in the players. Oh, yeah. He's a coach. He's yeah. coach. It's probably why they end up in the finals, which is crazy. Mm. No, I don't think so, bro. They I don't. Understand. They don't play. They they don't hang their hat on anything. I, you know what I, I mean? I agree. And, and, Fourteen, and, and, that should literally be deep. They, they should just. They should. Right, be, right. They it's should. Like no, we're both. They should no, have been bro. in all kind of. They should have been yeah. in these at least the, three the games greatest, on yeah. ABC where they played against the top teams and everybody and get they, kicked yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where they just fouling and just murky the game. I, I see, they too cute. I, you know, you know what I mean? They too cute what's funny and they is, don't think, cover for each other. I never would have thought of you as a defensive guy. Bro, I'm a defensive player. I'm just saying, I never bro, steals, man. Bro, because Baron, I remember is 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 jumping, is boost. Nah, bro. I, I mean, used to I used to down. want to guard every dude that was somebody. I didn't give a shit if he was D Way, LeBron. Sure. Mm-hmm. I have no business guarding. I used to always say that shit, bro. I had no business guarding Kobe, Dwayne Wade. So you have to have LeBron a, a James, serious respect for Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. He, he has to be the ultimate point. How does, love, Isaiah, how does Isaiah go over Jason Kidd for you then? Because Isaiah Thomas was a defensive-oriented point guard who could not be dealt with. <sighs> He's over when the Detroit He's over Pistons, hey, Glasses, listen to my episode. A I'm going to listen. I'm definitely. I, <laughs> Isaiah I, Thomas, I know I know Isaiah yeah. Thomas went from like 20 to 18 the year they won it. And mm-hmm. that's because when you look at Isaiah, right, and you talk to Isaiah – Everything that he talks about is defense. Isaiah taught me when you closing out on a dude and it's a right hand shooter in order to not to foul him, you close with your left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did not know that until he taught me that. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. So Isaiah Thomas, bro, when it comes to think about defense. Yeah, I just don't think about Isaiah as a defender. Now, he's not the defender that you like. The well, guy who I mean, dives on the floor, the and, you know what I mean, or don't have no offense. Or the guy no, 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 or the guy that was in the backcourt, or don't have no offense. Or the guy that was in the backcourt, no, 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 or don't, or don't have no offense. That was in the backcourt, Woody, that had offense. Yeah, Isaiah had offense. No, no, Isaiah's so the guy not in the your... backcourt. That was a better defender and had offense. I, 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 I don't. We don't know that, bro. We don't know if Joe Dumars was a better was a better defender, bro. That's that's they were both like they were both defensive guards. You was gonna tell a lie. You stopped yourself. That's why we you were both defensive guards. You said lockdown, and you was like, you know what? Let me not say that. I respect you for not saying that. They had they were both (laughs) defensive guards. Go back and look at the stats. I remember bro. talking about a team with an identity, though they were the Bad Boy Pistons. They exactly. were known for defense. And talking about the Clippers, what is and it their was identity? Isaiah Thomas. Mm-hmm. It was Isaiah Thomas who engineered that team and got them thinking from a defensive mentality standpoint. 
Who do you think it was, hey, Rodman? You gotta, I think it was the coach. Bro, you have oh, my God. Okay, okay, so the point guard well, Bill, and the coach Bill? ain't in sync. No, Bill wasn't the coach at the time. Chuck Daly. The point Chuck guard Daly. and the Chuck coach Daly. ain't in sync. The point yeah. guard don't go. Man, listen to my goddamn podcast. I ain't going to give it all the way. I ain't going to give it all the way. Point guard. This is I heart radio slick. <laughs> Listen to the podcast, brother. I, I man. wish. I wish. Listen to the guy. I wish you could talk to Dennis Johnson. That would be dope. Mm, DJ. Man. I will. I, 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 yeah. I know everything about DJ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Dennis Johnson. Two way. Two way player. Yeah. Right. But a defensive. Two way. Two way defensive player. Mastermind. If you if you look at the y'all guards, talk about Zeke like he Walt Frazier or something. Right, he but he defended. Oh, oh my He's God! Can we pull up some Isaiah Thomas stats? <laughs> this is defense. If you ask, stats. if you ask, just show me the defense of highlights. If you, when yeah, Isaiah yeah, was pull up the coach. Isaiah Tyrone, the Isaiah Thomas defensive highlights. Yeah. Highlights, highlights, not the stats that they go give us. Hey, when Isaiah was the coach, show me the strap. When he was coaching, like when he was a head coach, he coached defense. Players. Yeah, he coached defense. Oh, I mean, you play with Dennis Rodman. You better learn how to coach defense. Oh, my God. Dennis Rodman was his young pup. He taught him how to play defense. He taught him how to. He, he negotiated. Joe taught him. Man, if you don't go on with that. Boy, Damn. if you don't go on, that shit's coming from the mind of the point guard. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's coming from the mind of the point guard. He engineering that. So did Michael Cooper teach? So did Magic Johnson teach Michael Cooper how to play defense? Absolutely well? not. Michael oh. Cooper was a defender. He 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 learned at Rogers. You know what I mean? Michael Cooper mm. was a defender. You got to think. Rodman came in. He was a young boy with Isaiah, like twenty four. So Isaiah groomed him to be like that. Mm-hmm. Watch how he played, bro. He groomed him. Every time Robin went to take somebody head off, what Isaiah do? Okay. So your, so your son yeah. can't be a greater man than you? Absolutely. He groomed him to be that. It was that mentality that he I'm not, I'm that, not, that, that that he put on him. I'm not disagreeing. Right? Because Robin was just young and active and I'm, Robin yeah, would look for offense and all that. I don't know what just happened right here. Yeah, hey, yeah, this is what I'm happened. I'm just saying Isaiah don't Thomas. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's don't take a look. That. Let's take a look at some Isaiah Sorry, Thomas uh, defensive, defensive highlights. Highlight Show me the right stress. Here. Isaiah. All right. Isaiah just we'll roll some of these. Uh, here we go. That's nice. Yeah. Yep, I mean, I, I have an Isaiah. 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 I'm finna get up and like, that just crazy. I have a great ball time. That's just, just crazy. And the disrespect of you in Los Angeles. Man, my pops from Detroit. Yeah, but I, you are in Los Angeles. I You're from here. here. But I'm, but Don't ever disrespect Isaiah. the what truest is, and greatest what was his point guard of all time. What was his reason? He had no weakness at all. No, no. He's not Michael Jordan. He didn't have no weakness. Not He's not Hakeem Olajuwon. What weakness did he, he have? Beat him. What do you mean? No, no. He beat the Pistons with Dennis Rodman. We're beat. talking about Isaiah. Oh my God! What you know. weakness did Isaiah have? What do you mean he wasn't like? He didn't, have, he didn't do everything at the highest level. Yes, at he did. Highest. What the fuck you talking about? How many? Def- how many all? How many all defensive teams? Now you going to awards? You just said don't sell yourself no awards. <laughs> yeah, damn boy. All right, all right. Well, this is. We're not going to settle this so now, debate. So now Isaiah Thomas is better than Magic Johnson. This is where and you want to. This is where you want to be when Jesus comes that's, back. But that's my opinion. That is yeah. crazy. This, this is not going. We're not going to settle this debate. But we will listen to the Point Guys episode coming soon. Which, by the way, just reached oh, number eight. Mark Point Price, <laughs> Hall of Famer. He picking Hall of Famers. Mark Price. Hey, yeah, I love Mark Price. Oh my God, dude. I love Mark Price. Oh my God. Right on the money, man. I love he Mark Price. Love Mark Price. Y'all getting out of hand, bro. Yeah. All right. Isaiah Thomas is not. The defensive master. He was not. He was probably the worst defender on the court. Hey, well, he's no. Not, okay. not at all. He's no Draymond okay. Green. We all know that. Um, all right, so I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not all Chris right. Paul defensively. <laughs> Larry uh, Strips. All right, we were talking NBA awards, and with the season wrapping up, let's get into something that is certainly going to cause some debate: the MVP award. Because this year, it's no a debate, debate on what does that mean. No debate. What is MVP? The favorite to win it is Nikola Jokic. No debate. First of all, the person on there is... Uh, come, oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, Chris what were you going to say? Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Whoa. You like Chris Paul? I mean, look what he just did. I mean, they improved the Suns, but this is going to set glasses Everywhere off. Everywhere he sure. goes, for he's sure. turning a oh, team. He's a fantastic... He is he's a the fantastic... MVP of he's the, not. Of the season, bro. He's not, he's not even the best player no. on the Suns. He's not even the most mm. valuable player on the Suns. 
So what? So why they didn't do that last year? Let me ask you a question. I'm, no, I'm asking you. You asking me a question, but you're not they answering my question. They made it to the playoffs. Because play you're, 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 you're literally they didn't. They went eight you said and zero in the bubble. And didn't even make it. Right of players. I'm not saying if you don't add an all-world playmaker, a team doesn't get better. But to have the proverbial conversation of playmaker versus score, a playmaker is valuable historically in regular seasons. Historically, they have always won regular season games. He's oh, not the Phoenix? best. No, I'm saying playmakers, right? So great point guards come in and transform franchises. Great playmakers, right? Larry Bird came in, transformed the Celtics, right? Immediately. One player took him I from. I think historically, if you're looking at narrative, Chris Paul, Phoenix, Phoenix being in first place, he should be the MVP. No. Steve wow. Nash. That's not wow. the most valuable player of the National Basketball Association. No, but, dog, th- th- this, this award becomes mm-hmm. so difficult every year because, you know, how do you make, how do you make the argument, you know, when Giannis and Harden or Russ and Harden – you know, because, and, then, and then, like, you know, you look at the Steve Nash year, he won it back to back. Yep. Right? Iverson averaged 30 and 8. Shaq had probably one of his best statistical years. LeBron and had a great had, year one of those and, years, too. And LeBron had a great year. And Kobe had a great year. Mm-hmm. And so, like, is Steve Nash the most valuable player? Yes, on his team, they were first place. He did what Chris Paul did. Well, before we so get what I'm saying that, is, it's we, the same thing. Yeah, but before we start reducing it down the team, that's not what the... I get it that that's but what that's what's saying. always been no, rewarded, the, I, bro. Tell, but I'm going to tell you... That's Milwaukee not, Bucks, Giannis not, was the MVP oh, because oh, they were the number one he, team the no, last because he years. brought the most value to the National Basketball not Association. Even. That's LeBron yes. James. No, no, it's, that's not true. All right, so that's Glasses, LeBron who's James. your pick? Because I know you don't that's think LeBron it's Chris James. Paul. Who, who would you Chris say? Chris Paul is not even so who, in the conversation. Well, I mean, I think he's Chris in the Paul conversation. Chris Paul is definitely in the conversation. I think he's in the conversation. He's in the conversation. Chris Paul should so win. So who's your pick? Who's your pick? You got Yoke. Uh, well, I said it. Oh, he going to really I, go there. I, I said he's defensive player of the year, but obviously we won't reward defense, so right. no, we're not going to do that. That would be too much like right. But Okay. The value who brings the most value is either going to be Joker or Embiid. I think Embiid brings more value, but I think Joker may win it because he's been healthy. I think this season, I think it's a health award. He's been, please play every game. Yeah, but again, what's bringing value to National Basketball Association is is a real serious conversation. I mean, who's bringing the value? And Chris Paul, Chris Paul, but that 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 award start getting muffled when when Michael Jordan. Because you, you, it's e- it was easy to get an award to Michael Jordan every year. Cause He's he bringing value. Yes, sure. But now you have to give it to Charles Barkley because he had an incredible year. Well, uh-huh. bring you, have to, you, you have to bring Carl Malone because he had an incredible year. Bring but it value. wasn't the most valuable player of the league. They brought them up. They sure. had the best year, the best stat year. Their team won, and that's how it start to be judged, bro. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, LeBron, LeBron would. It have wasn't. More, it or wasn't NBA like the most valuable player. The most valuable offense, player. Just fill me up. Offense brings value to the NBA. Right. We all agree. But Michael Jordan yep. was a defensive one player, bro. But, but he yeah. won it through offense, though. That's why he won defensive. But he, player no, no, no. But he also. It was it was accounted for that not only is he a great offensive player, yep. he's an exceptional no, great that, defensive player. That's just player. something. We that's put how in. you win MVP, bro. No, sir. Yes. No, because because Magic would have never won MVP. Steve Nash would have never won because MVP. he brought the most that's value. Right. Magic did to the NBA. Right. So I'm saying Steve Nash won it because he brought he, he it, the it, the MVP has been. The, the MVP is not a one defined thing. Steve exactly. Nash brought the most value to the NBA because, because the time, they were the greatest show on right. earth. Uh, so we're saying the same thing. But it, value. it's hard to argue that. Jokic but it's hard to say that Carl Malone should have won MVP when Michael I think Jordan Carl was Malone in the league. had a fantastic year, great highlights, great finishes, great, great games. I, I really think highlights don't get credited enough when you start talking about the MVP. Like, if you notice, the MVP is usually mm. somebody who provides a ton of highlights. Sure. Highlights are the calling card of sports. Could you name a single Jokic highlight from this season? And that's the problem. No. Yeah, I can you name could, about a five game winners he one? hit. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, not I, many highlights really, of Jokic. Yeah. I mean, but, but that I pick, stand out. But you can ask Tom. I picked, Yo- I picked Joker a while ago. But mm-hmm. the, the only difference is Embiid has more highlights. Uh, he and does. Well, he he talks a lot more. He's a bigger yeah. personality. He's a huge sure. value. He's a bigger personality. Left, but 
That's not what this is about. It's not, I, the award is not about who's Volume? most valuable to the NBA. What's, it's, what is, it's the National Basketball Association's most valuable player. Sure. But Cliff Paul is bringing value. Cliff, Cliff Paul, maybe yeah. not Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, See, Cliff, but, not Chris. but the thing is, like, Nobody, even, Chris, what Chris, Chris, even what Chris really does, shout out, to, like, and this is my bro. You sure, feel me? Sure. Like, I can tell. Yep. You can know, tell. like, Russell Westbrook is better than Chris Paul, just so you know. He's had a great career. <laughs> Yeah, just so you can LA, have that. I'm rolling with it. I'm, I'm just saying, just so LA. y'all can have that. But with Chris Paul is going with the kids, you feel me, with the CP3 skills mm-hmm. and all that, like, it's the story. Like, he's really involved in the community and this and that, so. Oh, so hell no, tomorrow. we can't, we can't exactly. include that. Oh, yeah. it's, it's everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, 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 it's all everything. The, the only yeah, way we're going to give it to Chris Paul, he came to the Phoenix Suns, he boomed them up, he did what he did All-Star. You he's know a what I mean? Fantastic player, and and player. he's on the tail end of his career. He's a fa- to do yeah. that, but, 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 but he but, should be rewarded. Not with because you give the most valuable. Yes, player. he he needs he, he deserves one. No, all not right, one. One. I, no, he don't deserve. No, he no. doesn't. He you don't. It. No, 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 no. 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 Lifetime give, achievement yeah. award, like, and that's my no. problem, bro. Exactly. You don't Let just me give him one before he leaves. Yeah, man. You don't just be Dude, giving these did. awards out, bro. Lifetime what? achievement. Every yeah. team he goes to, he turns it around. That's what playmakers do. Exactly. But that don't. That, you can't make them the most valuable player of the National Basketball Association. But a great player. This, right. this year, this year, he has. One of the greatest, most expected shows and consistent shows on earth. No, people haven't been talking about the Phoenix Sun show. We're impressed now because they finally took over first place. Hence the conversation today. Shout out Monty Williams too. Exactly, because everybody got him all Monty. Shout out Monty Amazing Williams, coach. Black Shout out Coaches Association. Y'all being ridiculous. <laughs> all right, all right. I love Chris. Jokic, Chris Paul, I, I think it's going to be Joker as well. Joker He's the and heavy B. favorite in Vegas. Uh, it, for can't anyone who's it can't be NB. It can't be NB. He missed too much time. It can't. He missed uh, too much time. I think I know, he missed but too much time. His highlights were crazy. This yeah, year. yeah. Well, you're talking about Defensive Player of the Year, which I know you want that to get equal billing as the MVP. I mean, so it, yeah, it's, it's, who, who's your pick for Defensive Rudy Player Gobert of the Year? Easily. Rudy uh, Gobert right, again. I, I mean, just every ben year. Simmons. I, I like being alive. Ben well, Simmons I think is ben, up there. I think Ben Simmons should get it this year. Yeah, I'm not so mad too. if he does. He stepped up to the challenge. He, he locked down. He had an incredible He's playing that year. Isaiah Thomas type yep. defense. Miles Turner was in the conversation. <laughs> he got he got hurt, uh, so he's probably out of it. And Giannis, uh, Giannis, the reigning defensive player of the year as well, he's still putting up those stats. Year. What's yeah. funny is that team is really scary. People don't really the respect it. Yeah, that team is probably going to go to the finals. No, it's, it's better mm-hmm. for them to not have the, pressure. the gaslight. Yeah. On them. They want to be like, under I've been the radar. saying that, bro. They should be focused. They, they are not the team that you look at as a seventh or a seed and feel like yep. them being the one. Like, yo, I'm scared of them. Right. Right. And that's the pressure they've had on them is like they they can never break that ceiling because they set the 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 bar so high for themselves yeah. during the regular season. Right. That they never really had close games, and they never, you know what I mean? Yeah. They never really could measure out where they were because they were they put such a high esteem on the regular sure. season, right. and when you put that high esteem on a regular season, then you have no momentum heading into the playoffs. If you watch all the great teams, like you know San Antonio, of the, the Lakers, like they start like. Fucking with their positioning, you like even losing sure. first place. You're trying, you know what I mean, and, and you're like trying that's why, like San Antonio yeah. Lakers, you know what I mean. They was all and, and you're trying things. You're and trying right. to see what you're gonna do in the playoffs, and it's getting tougher. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. you don't mind. Okay, I'm gonna rest my guys yeah. and lose this game. Yep. You know what I mean. But I'm gonna play Tim Duncan the whole game yeah, to keep his. You know what yeah, I mean. Sure, and so sure. like. Milwaukee, they never they never tinker with their lineup. It was mm-hmm. firepower, 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 firepower. Then when the playoffs come, it's like, okay, we know what you do. So now if we shut that shit down, what is your counter? And they've never had a counter or another counter punch. Mm-hmm. It hopefully reminds me. Drew Holiday True. is that he as is. a player. Yeah. As a player. But their system has no counters. Right. But, but this is the At thing all. that... It reminds me of LeBron in, in 9 and 10 when he was back-to-back MVPs yep. and he couldn't get it done because it was a certain style of team that was stopping him. Yep. Right? It was uh, the big wing defender with the great defensive center. So yep. it's either Kevin Garnett and uh, Paul Pierce or it's 
the, uh, the Pistons team too was the Pistons team, right? You Ben Wallace yep. and, and, and Tayshawn Prince or Dwight Howard and Rashard, yeah. uh, Rashard Lewis, Lewis. Or those yeah. guys. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So I think what we've seen the last two years per se with uh, Milwaukee is that same thing. You you had Kawhi and Marcus Gasol, the last bit of Marcus Gasol that was there, you mm-hmm. know. And then last year you had uh, um, Bam, who's going to be a defensive player of the year, and yeah. Jimmy Butler. Right. You know, they, they can, with, with you exactly. know, Spolstra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had that set up. That is not there this year. Like, there's only one team, right? Miami is there, so Miami may run into them, but I think Miami is in trouble this year. I could be wrong. But I think when you just have Philly. Yeah. I agree. Now you kind of don't have. Can we see the, the Eastern presence. Conference playoffs? Because yeah, I have. Yeah, so I, I think game. the Bucks are in third right now. We got Philly is uh, in first place, I believe, with the Nets right behind them. So we got Philly, Brooklyn, Milwaukee yeah, see, none, three, none, and then none of, none of these what? Team, none of the, none of the teams to your point glasses. None of the teams. You know we have the, have have. You know, like because Jimmy Butler, if if it's gonna be a Butler, Chris Middleton. Mono a mono, bam, Giannis, mono. And now with Drew. And now, now they got Drew. So I think Drew is going to be that. Uh, that other that added, last thing that they added. needed. Mm-hmm. Is. But when you look at like who they're going to play in the playoffs, and that they matters. got Miami. Yeah. Right. I mean, and that obviously can shift their t- uh, well, currently I think, tied I think, with I think Atlanta. What's happen it's close. Is, it's bunched up there. What I think was going to happen is they're going to end so up with Boston. So who makes the playoffs first. in the East? In this, in this uh, plan, Boston is going to be there. Boston is actually there. I would not want to face Boston, Boston is, as a seven seed. They're, they're still is, scary. Is a play. Oh, what? Gonna be a Boston play. may not make the play in, dude. Boston, Shit, the way, they, the way they be up and down. <laughs> they, they have been way up and down, but they're going to be in there and still they're going to be a tough out. I think. Indiana can make it in. You got to be scared of Washington. You got to be scared of Russ. I want to see Washington and Boston. I want to see yeah. Washington and Charlotte. You got to be scared of Washington. Washington, you absolutely. You've got to be scared of what Russ You've got to be scared of Washington. And their record is and misleading. Them. Their record is misleading because sure. uh, remember where they were the first couple months of the season. And they this is what I like about not, the And it's, and it's game. nine games yeah. left. Who falls? Uh, it's nine Indiana, games. There's a lot of pressure. Indiana Let's look at is that again. sliding off Who a cliff. Indiana has right? just been sliding down the stairs. Does Miami so fall? Does, Miami? does the Nick fall? Do Atlanta fall? The Nick doesn't. Are they the solid? Are they solid? The Knicks is for real. Knicks, Knicks is for real. Knicks ain't gonna Atlanta, are they for real? I, I think they since rough. they made that coaching Man. change, right. since they, Nate they, McMillan's been coaching, they, they, they have been. They're consistent. They're going to make a play. They are consistent. Yeah. But, but you got to be worried because that would be the team. Sure. Boston is a little shaky, too. Boston is They got shaky. the talent. They always have the personnel. Year. But I think, I don't know if they stop. I don't think they believe in the coach as much. But they do have Tatum who can go off for 60. You know, it's like that. And in the playoffs, having Tatum and Brown playing and Charlotte, his best man. Basketball. Charlotte. I think Charlotte's a year away. I think they're there. I hope Charlotte make it in because I want to see my dog get his first. Come on. You know I would be. I mean? You know how much, you know how much shit LeVar would be talking, dog, if they made the playoffs first year? Yeah, yeah. man. So I, No one saw that And coming. they can beat Philly. So I think Washington. I, oh. That would be. That Charlotte would be, can be Philly. I don't know no. about that. I don't know yes. about that. No. All right. Philly, well, we'll save this. Clip. No, Philly no. does not. Philly wanna, played. Philly want to play Washington. Hey, you want to put played, some howls on that? Yeah, yeah, we can put some howls on that. All right. Yeah, no. <laughs> Philly. Though I like. I like what Doc is doing in Philly. Shout out to yeah, Doc. Yeah, they not. They I, not. I, I usually, you sad. know, for the last couple of years, <laughs> beat Doc up, but he's doing a good job. Yeah. Coach of the I mean, look at the defensive talent that's there. The, the issue with the Clippers is I don't know what happened to where they thought they were not a defensive team with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Like right now, I don't right. know why is this a conversation. You have Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Beverly, Pat Beverly, Rondo, Serge Ibaka, Ibaka, Rondo, and Serge Ibaka. Morris, 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 Morris. Like, but what are we? What's really going on at this point? Right. Why are we been right. talking about offense? Yeah. yeah that team. Yeah. You shouldn't even be able to score ninety points on that right. team. Right. They should be. It should be like. Harass and and that makes me believe some about the coach is not committing to defense. Something is wrong. Something is, I don't know what's going on. They should never lose. They yeah. should never. It should be like That's the Rondo. Bulls. Is Rondo, Rondo. And they, well, they've been they've been really good with Rondo. And they should yeah. have a and, and and I think even though Paul George, shout out to my dog PG, happy birthday. Happy to see been that. Having P. an incredible season. For and sure. Been giving him credit for. I think his best. 
he should be a, he should have came into the season trying to win the defensive player of the year. That would have been important. Mm-hmm. And 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 he could have been in that conversation yeah. right. if the Clippers were committed to defense. But, because they should be thinking about, oh, Patrick Beverly, he's already an all, all defensive player. What are we doing? Right? right. You got Kawhi Leonard, Last fucking de- a defensive player, player of the year. year. We just got Ibaka. He was all defense. Yep. You know what I mean? And so Rondo, we got Rondo now. He, he's a steals champ. We got fucking uh uh what's the other dude? Markeith Morris. We got Marcus, all these Marcus, Marcus Morris. Yeah. We got all these defenders. If I just sick Paul George on the best player and just let him harass, 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 then I got these young dudes, Terrence Mann and all like yeah, duh. I genuinely this is my concern and this is what I was saying to Jason. Mm-hmm. This is why I stand up. My favorite player is Magic Johnson. But I stand up for defense the most because some as a casual fan, you tend to just like offense. So I think the the athletes, I think y'all understand that. So it's a much more like it's a huge pressure to score the ball. Right. Everybody's trying to sell seats. Everybody's trying to be yeah. the man. So the thing that gets underrated, which is why I always said about Robin and Shaq, is the fact that who's going to stop people. Yep. Right. That's what the playoffs come down to. It don't come down to who's scoring the most points. It's coming down to seat belt. Let's stop y'all from scoring. Well, that's why I thought the Clippers were going to win it all last season. I thought they had those pieces in place, and they just, times got tough, and they they disappeared. But now new coach, they added Rondo to the mix as well. We'll see if this season maybe the pressure isn't there because the expectations aren't as high. Yeah, but the Bucks, they look good. The uh, pickup, P.J. Tucker, that's underrated. It is. We just just off the Brooklyn, we off the Nets, huh? Well, I was never on that. See, I'm not Katie, off the I Nets at all. I, I think the Nets are going to be in I the finals. I have zero belief in offense. Like, I, your offense needs to be so flawless together. Their offense is individual. But I, look, man, the Nets have, they have all-star players. They, yeah, he's all, got, they have NBA, three, MVP three, players. Three top ten. They got MVP candidates. Yeah, yeah you have to you know be real I mean? at some you, place. At yeah. some point. Yeah. At some point. But I, just, I think the they, Bucks. They, they, if, if they make a commitment, yeah. right? Yep. To just being smart, right? Yeah. Defense, defense does not have to be like this lockdown. Sure. Mentality. Only in certain. Right? right? I think what we were good, and shout out to the Warriors, we believe anniversary uh, today. Was the same owner there when you was there? No. Hell no, I wish. Um, He's that dope, huh? You like him? I mean, it was just our owner was drunk all the fucking time. And That's pretty dope. The, the only team would just be drunk. That's pretty okay. tight. You know, it was about to say the team, That's so it was nice. just like, the, you know, like. Sure. We didn't keep that fucking team together and put the right people around that team to get a shot at winning the champ. You know what I mean? Sure, it was sure. just right. it's, it's it was definitely like something it started that, at the top. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? But I, 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 what I wanted to say was, for the Warriors, like we were not a great defensive team, but we could play defense. Right. All right, yeah, yeah. right, because yeah. we knew steals and all that shit. Sorry, no, no, you're good, you're good. Real quick, let's run through co- some of the other awards. Coach of the year, I mean, is that is that a wrap? Quinn Snyder has been the uh, favorite all season long Quinn with Snyder what Utah's sure. been doing. But you did mention Mo- uh, mention Monty you Williams. Mention Monty Tibbs. Williams. Uh, Thibodeau I, in New York. Tibbs absolutely. for sure. I would love to talk about Tibbs winning it. Because the Knicks have been horrible for so long. So who's your pick? Who's your pick? Who I like or who should win probably. Who should win? The I Jazz mean, was always supposed to be good. They just put it together. Yeah. The Suns, it's, it's, it's Monty Williams, the brother. Williams. The brother. You know, I would love for Tibbs to get it, but the brother. So who's in first it. place? The, just the Suns. The Monty, it's like it's obvious. Monty Williams. You took a team that's not in the playoffs and you put them in first place. Monty Williams is coaching. The MVP. Yeah. Definitely not the MVP. Like, <laughs> gotta get the MVP. Not the MVP. You're not like, getting both of those. You gotta the choose year, one. Like Chris Parker went coach of the year. He can't win MVP. Shout out to the Black Coaches Association. <laughs> Shout out to the brothers, but you know, Monty Williams for coach of the year. Tyru Ty Lu is the candidate. As well? No, I don't think so. I, I mean, uh, he's, Doc Rivers is not a candidate for Coach of the Year. Doc, Doc should be in the conversation yeah, I think as he well. Should be in the I conversation. Think Doc should, should be in the real? conversation. Philly, Man, look what he did. Philly, Philly been good the whole time. They have been, yeah, but, but what he did was right. he made them a first place team. Right, right. He that made was, them a real contender. He, yeah, he made them a conversation. That's coaching. Taking bro. a third yep. to first versus taking a non-playoff team to first, it might be different. And what Quinn Snyder's done yeah, in Utah but what, is but, impressive. But also what Quinn Snyder has done in Utah is like taking a team who was 
you know, an Sixth eight, place, seven, seven, seven team right. to first place consistently yep. for the whole year. Well, you know Monty what I mean? Williams, that, that's pretty And special. so, oh, you know, it, it's going to be a, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, Monty you know? Williams. Monty, I, I with like the, With Monty. the MVP. But I do want Tibbs to get it because that defense in the sun. So, Monty sure. Williams for you, and he you wins. like Tibbs. Yeah. Monty Williams. That's it. Sure. That's your pick. I want Monty. I think it's going to be Quinn Snyder. That's nice. I say Quinn Snyder, uh, and then if Monty Williams get it, I'm not mad. But I wouldn't anyway. be mad if uh, Tibbs got it I, too. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. love what's happening with the Knicks, and I think Doc Rivers because yeah, I always be, yeah, I, yeah. you know what I mean. I'll be going at Doc Rivers, dog. I think Doc Rivers should be in the coaching finals. So nice. shout out to Doc Rivers. Well, we got plenty of time to debate all this. Still a week left. Now, uh, BD, we've been opening a lot of these NBA Top Shot packs on here. I got another pack drop. Do you know about NBA Top Shot? You showed Shot? me the last time. That's right. You showed me the last time. I wanted to buy one. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to week. buy one, but it was like you have to get on a membership list. It's a whole thing. It's, it's like, not bro, easy to I, get, but I was cool. able to secure a pack, so I thought we could open a pack live right now and see what we get. You never know. Maybe we'll get a good moment. Uh, we'll see. So these are all limited edition moments. So let's let's open this pack. Here we go. This is the pack that we are going to open live right here, right now. We're going to click on that. Boom. NBA Top Shot. They drop a new Man, pack where is every that week. Chicken I order. Shout yeah, out you to did. Bruce's Chicken. And thank Cafe. you for that. You did. Can we get a sponsorship. I am hungry. I want that. All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's go middle first. Here we go. First Love moment it. right here. We got. Nas Reed from the T Wolves oh, dunk. Okay. Sweet dreams. Nas. Oh. Nas. Oh, he banged on somebody. Face. Hey, when he gets minutes, this guy can play. And what's nice about this moment, this is his first ever moment on Top Shot, which is kind of like, you know, a collector's item. You want to get those premieres. That's his premiere moment on Top Shot. So you never know. Nas could have a good career. He's early in his career, right? I know I can. <laughs> that was a All right. pack. Cameron Johnson. Cameron dunk. Johnson. He's dunk. a shooter. He's a oh. shooter. So him dunking. Ooh. Oh. That was not bad. Represent, is he representing the Suns? Yes, Ooh. from the Suns. Right. There you go. I like Cameron Johnson. I Coach of the year. My fantasy. There you go. That's a, not a bad Ooh. dunk right there. At rare, the Suns lost to the Thunder in that game. That's kind of crazy. That's also his first ever top shot moment, too. So, again, that's, uh, you know, a rare John thing. Wall, watch. John Wall. Let's see. Pistons. We got Hamadou Diallo. Hamadou oh. is back. Hamadou. Hamadou you like that. Hamadou ya. <laughs> we opened the back last week and got Hamadou ya. Hamadou ya like that. Oh, Hamadou ya <laughs> like this. I got a lot of Hamadou Diallo moments right there. For so uh, he got a dope wingspan. I got him last week too. He got a dope right. wingspan. He might end up being something. Hey, Hamadou yeah. gonna be all right, bro. Be hey, the Pistons the traded for him. Here, yeah. They saw something in him. They wanted him. Hamadou They're rebuilding, obviously, and they, they like him. I mean, he can uh, he can jump out the gym too. Hamadou was uh, working out with Olin Simple uh, last summer. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. getting that work in out here. Like really, yeah. like. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do ya. <laughs> That's right. That's what y'all say. Amazing. Do nice. <laughs> hey, I want to thank everyone for joining us for another edition of Who Got Game. The NBA season is winding down and the fantasy season is too. It is the finals this week. Baby. Championship. That's right. I'm coming for the belt. I am taking on Brian Postel. A big shout out to him for joining us earlier in the show as well. Hopefully you'll see him next week doing 200 bunny hops and paying off his bet drinking tomato sauce. You got to you know. spread it out. So these, the way this works, Jason, yeah, you need to me. spread it out. Okay. On call. Oh, no, like how they're so? on call. They're on call. Oh, they're on call. call. So you yeah. need to really make sure you get like meet a friend of his. Go, yes, meet so up. So you can call him. him because he might start avoiding your call if you're in a particular yeah. situation. Okay. But if you meet his friends, you call his friends. Be like, hey, put me on speaker. I like so that. So you call Barry and be like, speakerphone. It'd be like two bunny hops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two bunny hops. I kind of want to do them. Nice, I want to do at least a hundred after he drinks that tomato sauce. I don't, want to get no, it moving. No, don't do not it. do that a hundred. You do, gotta you gotta ration save that? them out. Right. All right, yeah, all right. Take your advice. We got a party. Ain't talking to a girl. Hey, yeah. uh, give me some. Give me some money. Before money. Oh, yeah, I just Facetime him at a party and Brett. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Especially right, you like bad. you text like him, that. be like, "Yo, what you doing, dog?" You be like, "Man, I'm in an important meeting." Boom. Let me get. Let me get, get the Right in front of everybody. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna really spread two hundred out. Make this last. Well, I gotta win. Otherwise, I'm gonna be the one doing those bunny hops. I'll be in the other side of this. So I still gotta take care of business. So we will report back next week to let you know who won our inaugural fantasy basketball championship a big thank you to bd to Pooh jetter to glasses malone for joining us and a special announcement 
BD, the point guard, congratulations. Debuted last week Thank and you, already man. up to number eight. Number oh, wow. Eight. Boom. That's Boom. right. Making it happen. Number eight already. Download my shit, man. Download Spread the word. Don't do me like that. Part two is dropping this week with Darren Williams and then some other guests coming in the pipeline soon. So be sure to check out the Point God podcast wherever you get it. Don't be Moving up the charts. That's right. Hey, thank you everyone for rolling with us here on Who Got Game. I'm Jason Zone Fisher, and hopefully I will be holding the championship trophy next week. My we'll dog, let's get it, Jay. Right.